Bye. Bye. Hey, good morning, ladies. How are you today? Good. How are you? Great. I, I'm great. Well, I have to tell you, I'm calling you from Toronto. Aww. So, uh, yes, yes, you're, all, you're kind of your stomping grounds for yes. a little while. But <laughs> I have to tell you, I mean, obviously, I've had the privilege of being able to see this phenomenal series. It is so, so good. So I, when I found out about this opportunity, I was like, I have to tell the world about this great Aww. series. So and, great. <laughs> and Amy, Beth, I just have to start with you because... You're so outstanding. I honestly thought that you were Anne. I mean, there was no question about it. How daunting, or were you? Like, were there butterflies in your stomach when you found out that you got the role? Yeah, a little bit. I think it was more nervousness about moving to Canada for a long period of time. Um, but I guess I, um, I was more excited to play such an iconic, fierce female character who was very much like myself. It was great. So how did you relate to her then? What do you say she was very much like yourself? Well, she talks too much, so that's definitely number one. Um, she reads a lot. She has an opinion on things. She is an accidental feminist, and I'm just a feminist by choice. So, no, there was a lot of stuff I had in common with her. Oh, Anna, that's great to see. Now, Moira, for you, I mean, uh, people who, you know, loved and watched Breaking Bad would know that you were, you know, wrote, wrote the series, many of the episodes of the series, and... I need to know, how does one go from the meth labs of Breaking Bad <laughs> to 1800s, you know, Anne of Green Gables? <laughs> it's, it's amazing that you made that transition. Well, I love um, complicated characters. And, um, and Anne is a really complicated character. And I also like characters who have obstacles and original wounding. So it's not that big of a stretch. There's no meth labs in Avonlea, but... Um, <laughs> but Thank God. It's, it's, it's the kind of writing that I am drawn to. So what was your, I guess maybe your biggest challenge, because of course there have been so many incarnations of Anna Green Gables that, you know, listen, you know, me growing up here in Canada, I've seen so many, I've been to PEI, I've been to the Anna Green Gables, um, you know, the, it's just amazing how iconic she is here. But for you to take her and make her maybe your own or a little bit different, how much of a challenge was that for you? Well, it was a big challenge, but then again, I just sort of, I, I channeled Anne and I let my imagination run wild. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I stick very respectfully to Ellen Montgomery's words and stories and characters and the beloved iconic moments. And I also, I think, sort of, with her permission, chart new territory and make sure that the modern conversation that we're talking about right now is included in this story. Very important, I agree. Um, it, no question about it. Um, Amy Beth, why do you think Anne is such a beloved character? I mean, she just lives on and on and people just love her. I understand that even when you were in PEI, you know, I, I think probably people came up to you as like, before you even, you know, people knew you were Anne, you can make a great aunt. <laughs> yeah. What do you think it is about her? Um, I think because she's so relatable. Um, as you say a lot of the time, um, people go through stages where they feel like they're excluded and that they don't belong, and Anne kind of brings that out. She doesn't have a filter over who she is. Um, and I think the relatability and the subjects of it as well. They've traveled through many years, and it's kind of... I don't know, she's just so iconic and she's so great. How could you not love her? <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, listen, my dear, you won this role over 1,800 young women. What do you think it was about you that that caught the eye of the producers, directors, and, and just said, you know, she's, you're the one? Um, it was kind of crazy for me, for a little girl in the middle of Ireland, to come to Canada and play such an incredible role in a Netflix TV show. It was just astounding. Yeah. But, um... No, I, I have a lot, a lot in like common. Anne. Yeah, we have a lot in <laughs> common. So. <laughs> now, is it true that um, you kind of tapped into a little bit about and your grandmother? Kind of had the same background as Anne a little bit. Yeah, my uh, my great grandmother. She was actually hired out in Ireland uh, when she was eleven years old. So she definitely had the same kind of damaged part of her that Anne did. So I definitely yeah. brought a piece of her into playing Anne to kind of honor her. Amazing, amazing. She would be very, very proud, that's for sure. Now, I have to ask you, of course, the most iconic thing about Anne is her red hair. Yes. What was it like when you 
got under the, you know, into the, the, the basin of the hairdresser mm -hmm. and you're sitting there and you come out and you've got red hair. What was your reaction? I was so happy. I was so worried it was going to be like an orangey actual carrot kind of red. And I was so happy. It was such a nice red. And I love it. I love it far better than my blonde hair. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, so redheads have more fun then than blondes, Absolutely. I guess, right? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> now, Moira, tell me a little bit about this young lady you're sitting next to. I mean, she's just, like I say, she just sparkles on screen. She's quite unbelievable. She's going to be going a far, far right away. What is it about her? Um, well, Amy Beth is, she's so bright and articulate and fierce and uh, imaginative and sensitive and game. Like Amy Beth is up to try, meet any challenge, and uh, I just admire that enormously. Oh, yeah, she's, I might like, like her, I say, Amy, just Amy, a little bit. Yeah, let, let Amy, that, you're going to go very, very far. There's no <laughs> question. Okay, because the series on um, Netflix, which I obsessed with Netflix, because, you know, you can sit down and people can just watch the entire series. I want to know from both of you, what was the last series that you both binge watched? <laughs> oh, binge watched. Um, yeah, you had to sit down from beginning to end with probably your popcorn Riverdale. Yeah. and watch. Riverdale for me. Stranger Things. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Yes. Uh, yeah. Orange is the New Black. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Netflix has some great stuff. Well, I'm so happy yeah. that you guys are going to be added to the Netflix family on Friday. I can't, people, I can't say enough about this series. It's so outstanding. Thank Take you. it from somebody who lives in Canada, knows <laughs> Anne of Green Gables. Congratulations to the two of you, and what a pleasure to have an opportunity to talk to you both. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much.